In order for an ocean to support life, it needs three things, liquid water, organic chemistry, and a usable energy source. In this paper, the authors are trying to determine whether Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, contains that mix as well. Let me back up. A few years ago, NASA and the European Space Agency sent a spacecraft called Cassini to orbit Saturn and take readings. And while it was there, it was able to collect samples from the plumes that were erupting from Enceladus's south pole. We already know they found water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, ammonia, molecular hydrogen, a few organic compounds, and salts. But what Cassini could not determine was whether Enceladus's ocean contained the trace metals and nutrients that sustain microbial ecosystems on Earth. Its mass spectrometer lacked the resolution to measure elements like iron, nickel, or sulfur directly. These are, of course, central to many biological processes. They act as catalysts in metabolic reactions and as electron donors or acceptors in chemotrophic energy cycles. Without them, an environment can contain water and organics but still be inhospitable to life. Basically, just a bottle of energy drink. Chemically rich but biologically inert. This paper addresses the piece that Cassini's original analysis missed. The authors used geochemical models constrained by Cassini's data to estimate the expected solubility and chemical speciation of iron and sulfur. Then, they evaluate whether their predicted concentrations are sufficient to support potential life. On today's episode of Journal Club, we'll follow along with their analysis and see what they discovered. If you are already a member of Journal Club, you just got access to this episode. Log in and watch it anytime. See you there.